Hi guys, and welcome back to the ZZ Meal Show. How have you been? What's been happening? Today we have, I feel like this is the first person that I've had on the show that I've had like a little run in with. I feel, I don't know, I can't, I can't vouch for that, but I feel like it is. Anyway, today in the building, we have Notes is in the building. Wagwan, how are you? I'm all right, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, no, yeah, let's talk. Oh, <laughs> you're like, let's talk. Yeah, we did. This was like, this was time ago though. This is like, um, 2018, 2019. Yeah, like when I first came out with the ZZ Mo show and I think I spoke about something that you done and I said I didn't like it and then you wasn't happy about it. So what didn't you like? What, about the, what you said? No, what I done. Nunu, something happened with Nunu and she said something and then you like said something about her looks or you said something about black women being like along the lines of alluding that bitter or something along the lines of that and I basically said you know as a black man I don't think you should be doing that um, so a quick one hey see camera crew yeah what I want you to do when you're editing this I want you to go back to exactly what happened because what she's coming up with whatever story Nunu I, I rated Nunu there was no, no problem I had with Nunu I remember I'm pretty sure it was Nunu and she said something about something of the song you done with Mabel and there was something along the lines of that and I basically you said something about it that you didn't like what she said it wasn't a big thing but I spoke about it on my show when I used to do hot topics you didn't like what I said so as far as I remember um I'd released the remix for my lover with Mabel because mm -hmm. it was a remix right and um <laughs> oh gosh and then from there... The way, um, just for the record, right, people that say I'm not a nice person, I literally try to skim past this and make it be like, it was something in the past, but yeah, notes no, wanted no, to do a deep dive, what? okay? You know He's the one that wants to do the deep I'm dive into this. Much, I'm very much of a character where, like, I can't sit in front of someone and vibe with them yet properly until, like, there's an understanding of who that person is mm -hmm. or whatever... Um, whatever situation has made whatever situation. But the reason why I didn't is because I've seen you since then. And every time I've seen you, it's been love. You said I hello to me. I've seen you once. Yeah, but... At the basketball yeah, game. Still said hello to each other. Yeah, no, so definitely. Because I was shocked to see you, but I was waiting for something else. But then nothing else was said. You so thought I was going to... Not, not that. I was just waiting for you to just say something else or move in a certain... No, because... Oh, wait. Because my thing is, when I used to do Hot Topics on my show was, like, I don't have an issue with you. I had the issue with the thing you done. So Which was drop a remix with Mabel. I didn't have a problem with you dropping a you remix. Did. No, no. Every, everybody's problem was the fact that I dropped a remix with a girl that was supposedly not within this culture. No, I didn't have an issue with that. My issue was with you coming at Nunu as- I never came at Nunu because me and Nunu were following each other. You what? did, oh my God. I never once okay. came at Nunu. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop it in. And we're gonna yeah let's well, please drop it in i'd love to because all i said was guys the, those that are commenting because obviously mabel hit me up personally telling me that she's getting death threats or whatever the case was so then the next day i was in nigeria next day i'm saying guys whoever's commenting and i said the word guys specifically guys i didn't even say girls or black girls or whatever the case is i said guys whoever's commenting you, you don't need to allow it, it ain't right, 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 right. That's when you decided to go on your little rant on your little YouTube page at the time to do whatever BSA you wanted to do at the time. No, that's but not what happened. But, we'll, we, but we'll go back. And to we'll it. agree to disagree because yeah. I remember I was defending Nunu because you said something about Nunu and I I've said. Never, I've never said anything okay, about Nunu. Like, I'm not the type of okay, artist that says like, anything about, about black girls like, or black you know, art or black. I've never, I'm not the type of artist. I've never tweeted, go check my tweets. I don't even How delete did, tweets. Oh my God, how did we even yeah, get to this point in that literally I'm like just, two minutes I'm in? Just, I'm just making sure you're aware. Like I'm, I've never been the type to ever shame or make a way of black women in general. I did not say. That's never been I didn't say you shamed. You said something to do with Nunu. I defended Nunu and I said that I don't think as a black man, you should have done that. 
But what happens when I write, are you going to buy me lunch? Are you buy me dinner? Are you like, what's happening? Mm. Say a date, love. All right, Vicky, oh, let's go, go let's go, let's, let's. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll keep it cordial. But listen, so that happened. And then I saw you out and it was all love and it was fine. But I feel like, I feel like when I was doing, look, looking into you and everything, I don't think people realise how young First of all, how young you are, you still are, you're 23, but how young you were when you first ke came into the scene. So obviously you came, you blew with Addison Lee and you was only about 18, 19, right, when that first happened. Yeah. And I think that even myself sometimes, I think that the pressure probably that you had from that young age, I don't think people understand maybe the magnitude. Has it been difficult for you kind of growing up in this scene and growing up in the spotlight? I wouldn't say it has been. I'll just say that like, there's plenty of lessons. Right, right, right. And blessings at the same time. Yeah. I was the man of my house from early in the sense of like my mum and my sibling mm -hmm. and me being the older sibling. So it was like, I had to kind of grow up from early. And when I came into the scene and stuff, I'll be in certain functions or whatnot and people will think that I'm older than I actually am, but mm. I wasn't. I was saying earlier, before we started filming, I was saying when we was younger, obviously you had like a really baby face, but I feel like you've um, grown into your looks now and you look more manly. You give off that man vibe. Yeah, no, I'm still a baby boy, like Jody. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so tell me, what's been happening? What's, what's new? How, how was lockdown for you? Lockdown was all right. Album's coming up. Um, lockdown was... It was two ways, it was a little roller coaster, innit? it? Like, a lot was going on, but at the same time, like, overall, it was a blessing. It was a blessing thing. It was a beautiful experience, though. But I got to do a lot during lockdown as well. Would you mean, like, just for yourself, like, personally, kind of take away? Because I guess for artists as well, obviously it was hard during lockdown because you couldn't perform, you couldn't do whatever. But also, was it, was there ever that feeling of, oh, actually, I get some time to myself. I get to kind of reflect on what, what I've achieved or what I want to achieve or what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, a lot of the stuff that I've done, like, I never knew that I'd done it until lockdown as well. I get what like, you mean. Uh, when you're just doing stuff day to day, day to day, day to day, you never actually take in the fact that, all right, cool, you've achieved that or that's happened. Mm. So I guess so, like, in certain aspects. But then at the same time, it was more, it was more so like, I was still just working on myself, but mainly on a music way. Like I wasn't meditating or anything. I was just, yeah. Being, yeah. I'm just learning and growing, just evolving. So this is your third album. Yeah. That's coming out now. Yeah. Three, it's called Three, right? Yeah, Free the Album. No, it's my first album, but the it's called Free the Album. But the others were? EPs. EPs. Listen, I always, when I sit in front of an artists and you say, EP, album, what, what, for you, what's the difference? Because everyone has a difference, sure. different explanation. An EP is extended play. So it's like, um, there can be a certain amount of tracks on the EP, but it, the, the amount of minutes to an EP would probably be around 30 something minutes max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then a mixtape, you can do whatever the hell you want, mm -hmm. basically, more or less. So how come you've waited... And then the album is, like, structured and... So, so how come you've waited so long to bring out an, an album? Uh, some, like, bad things are happening. Go on. It's like... <laughs> bad things are happening. So, um, and it was just like, I was meant to... Once I released Take Notes 2, which was 2018. I wanted to drop the album for 2019. Mm. But then, yeah, man, just a lot of things were happening. Mm, mm, mm. And I just needed to just kick back for a second. I was still making a lot of music at the time. But yeah, I just needed to just chill out for a second because my mind couldn't, yeah. But your, you, your mind couldn't? Yeah, it's just, it was a lot of things were going on, isn't it? Do you think pe people understand that, though? Because that... Because a couple of times you've, like, tweeted and you've said stuff, like, you feel underrated, you feel, you know, you're maybe not appreciated as much as you should be within the music scene. But I would say that you've had, like, a, a, a very good, decent run. Like, when I've looked at your 
your views on YouTube. It's, it's, it's not like you're struggling for views or, or whatever. But so why do you feel as if you're, uh, you're underrated? When you say decent run, what do you mean? Your so first song, Addison Lee. I feel like obviously that happened and that went viral. And I don't know sometimes as, as artists if you're necessarily will ever get that again, but it doesn't mean that you're not successful. And I feel like sometimes when you kind of peak so high, there's always that feeling of like, you're chasing that, that really big success that you had, but you are still doing well. But I feel like you feel that you're not maybe doing well. I don't feel like I'm not doing well. I always feel like I can do better. Like, I'm evolving all the time, but then, like, no one can see, like, that I'm evolving because maybe the music ain't coming out at the time that I might want it to come out compared to, you know, the machine that's making it come out at the time that... Okay. Whatever. You, right. get, you get my drift. I get what you're you know, saying. So, I don't know, like, it's not that I don't feel like I'm doing well, but I've got songs that are way better than Addison Lee. I don't want to perform Addison Lee again if I had the chance, you know what I'm saying? Like, not because I don't rate the song, or not because like it wasn't a banger within its time, or rah, 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 rah. but it's mainly because like I've got songs that I think about now compared to three, four years ago. You know what I'm saying? Is it? Do you feel like people don't ever want to let those type of songs go? No, they'll let they'll let it go. That, that I didn't feel like that when everyone thought like that when um, Addison Lee dropped, and then they thought, oh yeah, it'll just be the one hit. Then Aladdin came. Then my lover came, then sit back down came, then butterflies came, then whatever else that has just gone off, fine line, whatever it is, all of these things have just still done their thing. So I'll never feel like that. But. So, so where did that come from then that you feel like you're not uh, appreciated? Is that within the scene, behind the scenes, your, your, the people receiving your music, where did that tweet come from or that feeling come from, I should say? It could just be, like, I'd, I'd just quote random shit. <laughs> I just quote random shit. I tweet random shit. Um, for a while now, like, even with certain things that I'll be saying, like, I'll sit with my boy and, like, we just reason about different things. And it could be about how the scene is and how certain men are. Um, just different things, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then, yeah, man. But I don't feel like I'm not appreciated, though. But then, yeah, it happens. And it don't just have to be within the scene. It can be within personal life as well. Like, it doesn't have to be like uh, music, music, music all the time. That could be like within personal reasons. Well, what would you actually, um, how would you describe yourself? Because I was saying to your, your manager, like, what does he describe himself as? Is, is it, because I wouldn't necessarily say you're solely a rapper. I wouldn't say you're solely a singer. So, and I think sometimes that's where it's like people can't place you necessarily. So it's like, oh, what, what's notes? Like, is he, is he a rapper? Is he a singer? What would you see yourself as? What do you call Banksy? I call him an artist. That's what I am. You call yourself an artist? Fair enough. Paint a picture. Fair enough. Do you feel like people try to kind of like box you in as well? Oh, no, man, I can't be boxed. I made like four different songs that are four different vibes. How can you box me in? True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My lover's completely, I'm just talking about a girl, like, or a couple. Um, <laughs> Addison Lee is completely different from that. Sit Back Down is completely different from that. And Aladdin's completely different from that. that. Those are the ones that I can just talk off at the top of my head that the viewers and shit will know about. So is this something that you've always wanted to do or did it kind of just happen? No. Because like I said, Addison Lee kind of just it, uh, Addison Lee weren't my first song, you know. That's the, so that's the first, that's the song that that's propelled song you that out there, yeah. Me, yeah, guaranteed. How, how, have you always wanted to be in the music business or an artist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From when, like, I was dropping stuff on, like, like, YouTube videos off of a Blackberry, off of random YouTube accounts, like, yeah, I've, I've always wanted to. And, um, my mum said that I used to just rap and sing all the time when I was a baby, so. Mm. When I was in primary school, joined the choir. Yeah, that didn't run for that long, but yeah, I just. At what point did you think to yourself, "Wow, like this is actually happening"? Because you obviously knew Addison Lee was a good song. Did you? Because it's got over like 16 million views on, or more than that now, probably on YouTube. When did you think to yourself, 
whoa, this is actually happening and my life is changing and I've, you know, I've education, college, whatever, and now I haven't even got to really be, I would say like a young adult. And then you kind of propelled into this like spotlight. When did you kind of realize your life was kind of changing? Probably, probably when Charlie Sloth put it on um, gas or trash and he rolled it up three times. Okay. On, on what was it, BBC One Extra at the time, yeah. So what was that feeling like? It's different. I was, I was at my mum's house and then, um, cause that's what I was staying at the time. And then, yeah, I was just running up and down, just screaming, mum, I made it, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, she was just shouting, why am I shouting? Do you, feel, do you feel like in your career, since that point, you've felt that feeling again? You know, that feeling of like, oh my gosh, like actual being so ecstatic, so happy. This is a new feeling for me. Do you think since then you've ever felt that again in your, within your music career? Since then I've been like so on the go and just again and again and again and just doing stuff and like I never had the time to soak in much from like most of the experiences but yeah there's been like different things that have made me think like raw like shit like this is mad like this is big like I ain't done nothing like this before you know what I'm saying you seem don't take this you don't seem tired now but I get this <laughs> I get this feeling. I definitely seem tired now, innit? Yeah. I've been up since like 7 a.m. I know, but you're obviously, but what I mean is, I don't, obviously I don't know you. No. But the vibe I get from you offline is that there's this feeling of like tiredness, but not, you know, because you're actually tired, but maybe tired of, I don't know, like the vibe you give is just like, ah, uh, if that makes sense. Like a yeah. feeling of, I've, I've been doing this, I, I've, I've kind of had to grow up in front of people. I'm almost like, I don't know, but a, a vibe of like, I'm a bit over it. If, I, if, if I'm being totally honest with you, that's the kind of vibe that I get, I get from you. I'm mainly over like most of this stuff, like interviews and stuff, I'll be real. Uh, um, but music, I can never be over. Like, I love music. I love, I love videos. I love performing. Mainly, like those things, I can't be over. But then the whole everything else. What like what comes with it? Having to do uh, the press runs, having to be in the public eye. Not even just like I wouldn't say press runs because that. Like, I don't know, but it's just yeah, just everybody has something to say in it. Like, well, yeah. <laughs> you know what I said? Well, Obviously, and it's allowed. I'm not saying that, but then um, it's like, sometimes it's like, I don't know, people don't ever put themselves in people's shoes or put the people that are around them in the shoes of the people that they're judging because right. the people that are around them are no different from the people that they're judging. If not, could be worse. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why talk? unless you're going to talk to the people that are around you. I get what you're saying, but I guess we're, we're putting yourself in the public eye. They, they, it kind of comes um, hand in hand. No, of course, of course. Which is why, yeah, limelight, limelight, sour, lime. It makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But then... That was like a clicking moment. Everyone should click for that. He said limelight, lime, sour. Duh, duh, duh. I feel like that should be like a lyric or something going on here. Or maybe like your next... I will be actively looking at your Twitter to see if that's a, a next tweet. When you were just saying, you said that you enjoy the performing side of it. You enjoy the singing and all the good stuff. So obviously during lockdown, you couldn't perform. So how did that affect you? Was it actually quite nice to just be like, OK, I get to step away for a moment? Yeah, no, it was like, it was good as well, it was bittersweet. But then like, I made like another tape as well during mm. lockdown, um, another project or album, whatever you want to call it. Another one that I've started as well during lockdown. I made a baby as well during lockdown. You did, which is a beautiful segue. Yeah. Yeah. You did, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, you did. Congratulations on that. You're actually your, your dad now. Thank you. How's that feel? Feels good. Once again, 
bittersweet in a way, but it feels amazing, like being a dad. Is positive. Uh, there, yeah, because um, there was a fly on you. Sorry. Um, <laughs> this fly's excited today. It's probably because your blood is sweet, maybe. It's on you now. Have you got sweet blood? I know. I have got sweet blood. So I've been told, like, everyone... I mean, that sounds yeah, weird. Really that cool. sounded really weird. What is going on in your... No, 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 no. That came out really weird. As in, I'm sweet. Make sure we save that in the thing as well. Because that was... Yeah, that was no, something else. Sweet blood. That's why people always want to, like... But that's why they want to... Sweet. So you've been told, yeah. Yeah, because I'm sweet, do you know what I mean? That you have sweet blood. Okay, you know what I mean. Like, look at you, like, look at this. Like, I, I really got myself into that. But what I meant is I'm sweet, innit? I'm, a, I'm sweet. Anyway, back to you, because this is all about you, Notes. So like you said, baby, congratulations. That whole thing around you, there was two emotions that I went through with that whole thing. Obviously, we're going to talk about it. And you actually, I listened to a couple of the songs on your album. There's a song on your album called Third Eye. Yeah, yeah. Juiced by J5. And I guess in that song, from what I heard, it sounds like you're talking about the situation that we all kind of came to knew about, right? I'm guessing. Yeah, you're not guessing yet. Well, I don't want to assume because you could be talking about something else. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah first. Talking about the situation that we kind of was very, very public. There was two things. When it all came out the first time, I even said, it was to me it was just a bit sloppy the whole thing like how whatever and then the video again that we saw of you and the mother of your child and trying the that literally that kind of broke my heart that seeing that because I think that that is an issue actually within our community often that we see where sometimes men are not able to see their children or whatever and there's all that conversation around that and I felt and it, you could see actually in the comments how at one point everyone kind of was against whatever had happened but the general consensus in the comments was that it was sad to see right what is that situation now is everything good do you kind of wish that you, it wasn't such a public thing or do you see that as more as a growing experience as well as of recently like it's been all right um in sense of like being able to speak to him and see him and stuff on the phone or whatever, because he don't live there. Right. Um, but, yeah, no, I was annoying, but it is what it is, man. It's life. There's people going through it. There's millions, billions, probably, of fathers out there that could be potentially, all mothers that could be potentially going through anything like this such or worse, so it's calm. So when all of this happened, what was your thought process? On the song of Third Eye, you sound quite remorseful. You sound quite sad. You're, you know, you're saying that she was the girl that w was for you. You cared about her, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What what actually happened? When I say there wasn't no one, that's part past tense. So like, it's not necessarily. I don't know the way I word things, particularly. Like, I, I I try to make sure that I know what I'm saying. So like, there's definitely billions of people out there in the world there's as they say quote unquote plenty more fish in the sea but is that's just the emotion that i felt at that particular time for that particular person um but yeah and just i don't know like i was just it's just whatever like at the same time i'm still saying that like, they can't lick all mammy because i'm only getting bigger hook up with a whole silly slip up Hennessy and Kelly make me see the world different. Forget who I am, link up with the wrong bitches. That's what happened, you know what I'm saying? Kid on the way, but who am I kidding? If I went with A and didn't beat the other, am I still cheating? I, I don't know what else I could say. But do you, is it, is it, um, is it difficult being in the, in the public eye as a young man? Because me personally, I always say, yeah, I, if I was in you guys' position, I probably wouldn't get into a relationship because I just think that there's too much temptation, there's too many girls, and I just feel like it's that you can't... I don't feel like men are there yet in, at such a young age to be with somebody and not probably slip up, in my opinion. Funny enough, I have neighbours, right, that have been together since he was... 21, they got married about when they were like 21 or something, mm. and he's like 80 something now. Yeah. So that's around like 60 odd years. Yeah. Obviously, back then, tradition set out differently, mm -hmm. where like 
people are more open to getting into marriages quite early and the way like a woman will be married into a family or whatever the case is, however it worked back then, but like with this new school tradition, everybody's a bit lost and I don't feel like because I'm a young man, quote unquote, that I'm the problem for that or I'm the reason to not having a relationship or not being able to keep a relationship that that doesn't mean anything i can be any age well no i don't think it's i'm not necessarily just to do with your age but i think it's your cert, your situation and your yeah my, if i if i have the right person within my situation then i'll be able to do everything the right way being being in a relationship as an artist is probably safer than being out of a relationship as an artist or in my position or whatever the case is because girls will just do whatever, in whatever sense. If you're just out there linking, yeah, linking, yeah, linking, yeah, linking, yeah. I've done it all, I can't bother. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so then at certain times, I just like, I just want to chill. Like, um, yeah, but then I can't mislead myself because I want to chill, you know? Like, if a situation is not for me, then it's not for me. And then I'll find the right situation that is for me one day. So th talk about the process of the album and how like even songs like Third Eye, was you worried about being so vulnerable because kind of people will forget about situations. That's the thing with social media. People forget about things and then you kind of br you bring it to the forefront again and now it's going to be another talking point. But how easy was it for you to be vulnerable on this album? Was it important for you to be vulnerable? You know what is I don't feel like I've been able to say my side properly. And like the best way of me saying my side is through music. And then at first, like I'll try and do like that like petty young dumb shit, like indirect on socials and whatever, on Snap or Insta, or whatever the case is. That, like, but then like, nah, like if I want to say anything, I'll say it in my music. And if anybody wants to ask me a question or say anything about it, you're free to ask. Come, come ask free. Fair enough. I hear that. What's your favorite song off the album? I list, I heard um, I heard quarter past three, which I liked, because it's got the old school R and B, and you know, well, you might you probably don't know, but I love old school R and B. Oh, do but, you? Uh, yes, man. What's your favorite old school R and B? Like what, what era, what time? I'm more for like Monica, or even like old old school. Like I like the way you kiss me when we're playing the kissing game. What? You know about the song? It's probably a bit too young for that one, aren't you? Too young? There's, yeah. <laughs> uh, so somebody that is your age, mate, doesn't know the song. Yeah, because I go deep into the R&B, yeah. though. So does that mean I'm too young to know it? Because somebody that is your yeah, age, mate, doesn't know like... the song. I don't feel like you're a proper R&B head, though, either. He is, he is oh. a proper So how can you not know about that song? Or like Mint Condition, like, um, what's that song from Mint Condition? Oh, there's so many, I listen to like, I love like old school R&B, that's me. Or like, you know, like the Monikas, the Brandy. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, yeah. That's the type, so when I heard that you sampled that song, I was like, yes. Yeah, I, sam I sampled it because I listened to old school R&B myself as well. Oh really, okay. You did, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not surprised at that. I feel like you are like quite um, soft, you know? What the fuck? <laughs> what? What's that even mean? I do. I feel like you're. I feel like you are. You're like you're soft, and there's nothing wrong with being like that. And I even think that sometimes I ain't I, soft though. You're not soft, but you're soft. Do you get it? Nah. I feel like, nah. I, feel I don't. Like soft. No, wait. I feel like soft is like when it comes to love. Do you get what I mean? Like you, you're, you're a lover. Do you know what I mean? Do you understand what I'm saying? No. Nah. So you're not a lover. Soft and soft, it's both the same thing. No, it's different, trust Soft me. is just more exaggerated to yes. make them show how soft they are. <laughs> no. uh, what are you talking about? So what are you trying to say, you're not a lover? Um, it's not that I'm not a lover, I just, like, I, I am a lover. But that don't mean that, that they ain't no, but, bite. I, okay, let me rephrase that. But it. I am a lover, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, like, I like girls, I love girls. I can, well, we know. <laughs> you dug yourself in the... <laughs> No, oh, but well, it, you're a young guy. Of course, you're gonna, you're gonna. Yeah, you know. I'm not saying what else should I be attracted to, but yeah. No, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You're gonna enjoy women. You're in your hay days right now. You're in your peak. You're very successful. Hay days or not, I would, I would, I would love women regardless. I'm, I'm confused. 
Oh, I'm so confused. You know what I mean. Listen, no, at the end, no, 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 no. Come on, let's not play. Let's not be silly, yeah. The access that you have to women oh, wow. is not the same access that Joe Bloggs has on the on the street. The amount of women oh, that yeah. you half exactly. and half though, because like I've seen women before. I had. Yeah, I understand that you're a good-looking guy. Yeah, girls probably really liked you before you were notes. I get it. Great, lovely. But what I'm saying now is the fact that you're successful. But when I say I love women, you do realise that I'm not just saying it in a sense of, like, sex. That is a part of it, though. I just like, like, women energy in general. Like, I actually like women. I, I like chilling with women. I like chilling with girls. I can be the one guy or two of two guys with like six girls that like just to chill it doesn't mean that any of us are hitting yeah, we're just chilling so what, that's probably why i get the vibe from you that you're in touch with your emotions how does oh my god like what can i just how does me can picking just, the friend say? okay let me let me no so let me tell you something yeah you are showing your age now because there is nothing wrong with what I'm saying. But you feel like I am saying something. I'm just confused no, how it saying? interlinks. I yeah, know. like I might be in touch but with women, men emotions. That are, men that hang or like women company, they are. They are in tune with themselves. They understand themselves a bit more in my person. It's like women. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. <sighs> am I lying? Am I, am I, li am I, do you, get, do you get what I'm saying? Who do you chill with? Who do I chill yeah. with? I, I, I've got, I've got loads of female, but not loads. I've got good two, well, I've got, I've got female <laughs> friends. I was going to say I've got two friends, but I haven't. But I've got two. Before you ruin the other yeah, relationships, yeah. 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 I've, got, I've got two people that I talk to on a daily basis, but I have a small circle of female friends. And then I have a small circle of men, male friends as well. How but small? But listen. How small is that circle? Why? Listen, notes, yeah. I can know, I can see you're getting very relaxed up in here now, like, so, like all cheeky and everything. I'm just asking, <laughs> I'd like to interview you as well. I'd like this to be a thing where we can have a nice conversation. Why not? That's, that's the best way it should be. I'm just telling you. But that's also why people always say to me that I, the way I think is very manly. Like the way I tweet and the way I look at things. And I will say things like, majority of men are probably gonna end up cheating. And at the end of the day, oh well, that's just life, innit? Get over it. And women will be like, yo, pick me. You're condoning cheating. And I'm just like, well, no, it's like, it's just logical. Like, it just, that's how I think. Or men don't want to do this. Or why should a man do this? Or if you want to do... So people always say that I'm very... How I think is very manly driven. And that's probably because I've got older brothers and I've been around my older brother and I've got loads of male friends that tell me the realness of, you know, relationship. But then you, like you said on the opposite, you are around a lot of women. So that's probably why you're in tune with your emotions. And that's what I was trying to say earlier, that that's why I think you're quite soft. I heard all of that, but... You don't want to agree with it. it. It's not even that, but I'm just not soft. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and just be like, oh, I'm soft. I'm not soft. I'm telling you what I am. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you understand though, that? Like, but, but, I, I... Like, I am in touch with my emotions, but I'm not emotionally available. So it's like, okay, I'm yeah. not, like, soft, if that makes sense. Like, you get it. I get it, but you see me, what the, the thing with me is, I see through people. Do you want Okay, yeah, no, yeah. you could try, like, come see through me. Come lie on this pillow and see how soft it is, but... Trust me, your neck. There's bare like lyric, like lyrics that you're the cover line of this pillow. See how soft it is. So you put that in the put that in the song. Maybe man, I might try that. You should. That's the vibe I get from you. I feel as if as well that you are a little bit misunderstood. I think that people, maybe because you've grown up in this industry, that people don't realise that you you're still growing as a person. Do you get what I mean? And you're you are human. Yeah, but then that. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> it just is what it is. I, I don't know what else to say. And I think it's difficult for young people that kind of come in young and then they have to kind of grow up in front of the camera yeah. and they can't have those moments. Like, like you said earlier, normal people, they can tweet, oh, this happened today and it's not going to be taken and put on shade bar and then everyone's going to now have an opinion on your, on your feelings or how you feel at that moment in time. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but all of it's fake anyways. Most of it's fake. What's, what do you mean? It's all of it, everything. Everything's fake, you know what I mean? Everything's fake. The whole, like, everything. It's all fake. So that's why I don't care. You got, like, it's all just fake. Everything around me is just fake. 
apart from the two things that are around me, everything's sick. So, but this is what I said earlier about you have that energy of like, I'm tired of this. That, like, yeah. that statement that you just gave now was like, a, I'm tired of this, this world or this life, not the life, I'm, but this, the things going around me, but I still love music, so I'm going to keep... Yeah, no, I still love music. I still love those that love, like, my music and that love me for whatever I do and by God's grace achieve or whatever the case is. But, like, yeah, like, I'm... Yeah, I just don't care. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So, so... um. Back to the album, uh, you're doing like a live streaming performance, right? Yeah, I think that's going to be on like YouTube as well. So if you want to watch it, yeah. you know. Well, when this comes out, I would have been out already, so people can what re. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but people can like. So oh yeah, it's out. Yeah, go check it. Go, it's on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> on his channel. Oh, my on his channel. It's, it's on so his channel. Exciting. Big up Stable as well. Um, yeah, it was amazing doing that collaboration with them in terms of like the live stream show thing. It's dope, different. And yeah. and uh, um, how much like input do you have into all of your like the creative side of everything? Do you are you quite very involved, or do you have people around you that kind of handle all of that stuff? That stuff? I'm signed. I'm signed, but I'm still independent. How, how you explain? How I do things is very like okay. independent. So like I just done a listening party the other day, like a random one and it was like just was independent. Was and then we just done another one that was basically more or less independent. You know what I'm saying? So like we just randomly do things that are just more or less independent. Album, artwork, cover, independent. Um, collaborations and independent. What collaborations have you got on, on the album? T W Savage, Avelino, Suspect, AJ, Tracy and Young T and Bugsy. Oh, you, this is like fully loaded. It's nice, but there's like way more collaborations on the next tape. Okay, and when you look into it, I find it so weird, yeah, as artists, right? You, you, this hasn't even, well, it would have, but when we, your album hasn't technically, like, it's not dropped yet, or it's just dropped, right? And you're already, you've already detached yourself from that, and you're thinking about the new one. It's weird to me. So, so think of it like, all right, cool. So let's say with what you do, yeah? yeah. You've got a bag of artists or um, influencers or... <laughs> um, people that are just doing their thing in whatever capacity that they are right. and you want to work with them okay. so whatever way you want to do maybe you set up like some Wendy Williams TV show and if you, who knows only God knows you know what I'm saying yeah so then if you have all these people written down you start writing down all of these people while you're writing it down though you put them in the sections of the timeline that you want to work with them oh, okay are you understanding me yeah, yeah. so like all right, cool, I want to interview um, Idris Elba, but I want to do that the third term in 2023, for example, just mm -hmm. throwing it out there. Yeah. And then I want to interview uh, a Russ. I don't know if you've already done that. I'm pretty okay. sure you have. Okay, cool. But you'll do that in that segment. Then a Storms or this person or that person, like you'll just put them in different sections. That's what I've done while making the album. Like I've just put the different things that I know that are right, cool. This will sound better if I put it on this mixtape that I want to drop, or um, this will sound better if I put it on this project that I want to drop for Africa. Or this will sound better if I want to put it on the album. Mm. And then yeah, just put everything in its place while making it. That's the first time in the interview that I feel like you've actually come alive when you was talking about music. So they like... Because I'm excited for the projects. Well, this is what I'm saying. It's and good. obviously the album's like my first album, so like I've just been gassed to get it out and now it's out, it's just like... Is it, are you nervous? No, no, no. Really? About what? Like how it's gonna be received, what people are gonna think. There must be a... Because you've been around for quite a decent time and this is your first project, not even a little bit, you're not a little bit like, okay, how is this gonna be received? I dropped... You know, there's one bar that Drake says, yeah. He says, I dropped two, um, no. Dropped two mixtape that shit sounded like an album. Who would think a countrywide tour would be the outcome? Labels want my name beside the X like Malcolm. Everybody got a deal. I did it without one. I, that's what I feel like. Forever. 
with Lil Wayne, Kanye West. But yeah, like I just feel like yeah, I dropped two EPs and it sounded like albums. So you're just like this is just um, this yeah, is you're already uh, you're already in your in your element. So you were saying about being signed, but literally it still feels like you're independent. So the other day you were supposed to put out the Daily Duppy. Yeah. Uh, put a tweet out or you put a notification out or well, let, basically letting people know that the label, you wasn't allowed to put it out. So how does, how does that even work? No, you know what? Like, obviously, like, I'm not even doing any, non, none of the bitch and stuff with the labels as well during this interview. I can't bother with that. Big up them, whatever. <laughs> but it was like, literally, um, I think GRM, don't quote me, might be in a deal with a particular label. Oh, okay. Which it, it has nothing to do with Sony. Oh, okay. But then, like, the way music gets put out, or like with their artists, is like, all right, cool, how can you go and do that on your platform with that? And then the backing ain't right, or whatever, whatever bullshit goes on in mm -hmm. that side of the world. I have no idea. Don't quote me. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's. Oh, I get But then, because I, I was thinking, when you put that out, I was thinking, didn't he have to run it past? Didn't, wouldn't he have done it through the label anyway? But now it makes sense because you said you're kind of independent, kind of. You run as an independent. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, Suspect, Big Up Suspect. He heard one of the tunes um, on the album, which is Mentions, um, the last track on the album, and he said, nah, you need a daily duppy. Nah, 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 I'm not having it. You need a daily duppy. I kept saying, I want to shoot a video though, like, like, nah, 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 it has to be a Daily Duppy. So then he hit up um, GRM and then, yeah, like, he just sent me back a date and location. So is that ever going to come out? Um, is it? Yeah. yeah. I think it came out. Did it come out? Oh, it'll be out by now. Apparently, yeah, I think they got it sorted out this yesterday or something. But I guess those are the things that are really frustrating to you, especially as an artist, because you're just you just want to be able to put out your shit and not feel yeah, like you're being nah, being con controlled. But that's. But I'm not like the f even the, like waiting with this album and stuff and the three years of it. Like I haven't felt like I've been controlled while waiting for it. I felt like I don't know. God just works in mysterious ways. People that I used to work with in terms of like management and stuff, man, don't work with them no more. Whatever the case is. Because yeah, you used to be with Too Loud, right? Yeah. What happened there? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, like it is what it is. And then obviously, um, yeah, I've been trying to just make sure that I've pieced the right team together. And obviously I've still got my family as part of my team as well. And like just making sure that it's just all organized correctly. But I feel like it was a blessing that all of this took as long as it did. To my yeah, I, I, in a weird way, I, I would probably agree with you because you've probably been able to the stuff that's happened. You've been able to obviously put that into your into the album and and, and, and to and to talk about it, like you said, just to kind of get your side of whatever people think. So yeah, and in a way, which is it, it's sad, but it's not sad. It probably make more people listen to the album because everyone loves drama and everyone knows that you're going to talk about whatever's been going on in your life and so they're just they're going to want to know like oh what's notes going to say about everything that's happened so in a weird way it's good free the album free the album as in oh my god free the album free f r e e shit that, it has three different meanings <laughs> You better mind that people don't say you're part of like the Illuminati there with I've seen all the hand oh, movements on there and all I this stuff. No I'm not bothered. I told you, I can't like I'm so unbothered by it all. Like anybody can say anything. That's my point. This is probably the best way to be though, right now. Do you get what do you think? It's not even about right now. Like, have you always been like this? In the beginning of your career, do you think you cared more though? You def you would have definitely I never cared more. What what I did do though was just go with the flow of everything. But then now I control the flow. So it was cool. Right. I'm easy. And aside from music, have you, is there anything else you want to do? Have you ever thought about life after music or is it never going to, there's never going to be a... Life? So I actually want to build a performing arts school. Really? I want to build a couple in different countries. Nice. So I want to build like, like hubs for creatives. Nice. That's as far as I'm, I'll go with all of that. What did you study at college? Um, I studied, in sixth form I studied government of politics, business, music and drama. But then I got kicked out in my final year. Wait, 
now. Fortunately, yeah. But now, and then, so when you got kicked out, that, that someone thought I was soft. We don't. I'm not being funny, but we don't know why you got kicked out. It could have been because you, you like. Because someone thought I was soft. Listen. <laughs> Yeah, there's no, there's nothing. No, I'm playing, I'm playing. It's just a bit of better. I know, I know, I know you. I know. Listen, any questions for me? Um, You're very smooth, though. I will give you that. Extremely smooth. How can you say, have you got any questions for me? And then now. Yeah, because while you was thinking, I was telling you that you're, re you're quite, you're smooth. You're very smooth. Thanks. He doesn't even know if it's a compliment or not. I don't know. I don't know where you're going with it. I'm just saying. I'm just no. I'm just saying you're smooth. I'm smooth, and I can tell you woo the ladies very well. <laughs> <laughs> I can. I can tell. Um, I haven't got anything to say. You don't have no questions for me. Um, no questions for you. What's your type? Oh, tall, dark. Dark. Loves to lick the life out of me, you know. Oh wow! You know what I mean? You got come on. So dark. L yeah. Loves to lick the life out of you. Lick the life out of me. Do you know what I mean? You have. <laughs> what your sweet blood? Uh, no, uh, no. Like I don't even want that narrative to carry anywhere. Okay, I'm saying that. Yeah, a tall, dark really funny you have to make me laugh that's like my main thing i have to be able to like feel as if you're like my boy if that makes sense like we're codies so we talk all the time and we you know what i mean that's the type of person i am okay particular country i mean i often seem to attract a lot of nigerian men they seem to like me um i don't know why but that's just how it I goes. I don't ask you like she, I ask you, you like, so is there a particular country? I like what likes me. And I feel like that's the best thing to do in life, to like what likes you. Okay. Yeah. I feel you. I feel like you're trying to stare me out right now. I'm just asking you. Questions. Okay. What's your type? Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, what the, like, what's your type? It depends what my type is for. Oh. But. Like, do you know what? That is a very good answer because that's what men should actually do. They should have different types for different things that they want in life. So when you want a bone, what is it? Well, <laughs> when you when you want a bone, what is it? Someone that is down to bone, but like, you know, they're just sexy or have whatever sex appeal that they have in their own way. Right, and then when you're ready to settle down? Um, someone that's like proper level-headed and like someone that is still be like capable of dreaming and like I like to dream like while being awake, you know, so it's like... <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> this ain't no poetry. No, 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 but it's true. That's, again, that's a very good thing. I like someone, that's, I'm going to start using that. Like, just like, yeah, like, doesn't, like, see a limit, you know, to, like, the things that they're capable of achieving, no matter what sector it is, like, yeah, in yeah, life, yeah. you know, even if you want to be a bus driver, at least be the, the manager of the bus driving company or aim to, you know what I'm saying? Like, just someone that's, like, yeah. Really like that. But then also that like, cute in whatever way, I'll be able to tell them they're beautiful every day. However that's calm, coming about, that's calm. And there you have it. So, is this for three? This is for the, they're yeah, gonna... Yeah, do that. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? That's six? No, it's three. It's still six? It's still three. How? It's just three, because it's on both sides. Three, that your means. your face is the plus side. I am, that is correct. Oh, cause your face goes like this, but then three plus three equals six. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then people are gonna say there's three sixes. That's what they're gonna start saying. Let them. Let's <laughs> just say. I know who I walk with. Notes. It's been a pleasure. Blessings, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. It wasn't as bad, was it? No, it wasn't. Uh, to be honest, I thought it was gonna be a bit, yeah. No, I feel like we had, you know, we had our little yeah, thing. Yeah. It was sweet. It was always going to be like, you know, but 
I'm not bad. People always think I'm bad, but what? No, it was. I felt like it was that moment, like you know, when the girl in primary school that picks on you because she kind of likes you or thinks you're cute. That was one of them moments. Like, honestly. So you I think? Do you think I think you're cute? I don't know. I just felt like it was one of them moments. I feel like you want me to think you're cute. I felt like it was one of them moments back then. Oh, not so much now. Not so much now. Oh, okay, right. I just think it was a misunderstanding, maybe a common one. Smooth, smooth this one, I can tell. That's why the ladies are going No, mad. this girl is mad. <laughs> anyway, guys, <laughs> you know what to do. The free, the, tell them, because I'm going to get it tongue twisted. Free the album, so there you go. Free the album, I don't know. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody. We out. Yeah, yeah.